The Penguin midseason trailer has dropped. It looks fantastic. This show is heating up. Let's talk about it. Hey, everyone. This is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks so much for joining us here. I really appreciate having you stop by and spend some of your time with us talking. The Penguin, if you're new here, hit subscribe. We like to talk about this show as much as we can. The season, second half of the season, trailer debuted keys of f***ing kingdom here sophia and i can't stop watching it absolutely obsessed after last week's mid-season finale i guess you can call it whatever it was it was a wild ride from start to finish sophia falcone having her origin story develop and now oz is on the run oz's mission is to take over gotham that's what we're getting in this new trailer if you haven't seen it you got to check it out it is absolutely fantastic. But let's talk a little bit about it. And then we'll talk about maybe another one of Batman's Rose Gallery's villains that might be making his way into the Penguin. This midseason trailer for the Penguin is giving us a deeper glimpse into the gritty, power hungry world of Gotham's criminal underbelly. Right from the start, it's clear that Oz Cobb is on the verge of becoming the iconic villain that we know and that I especially love as his ambitions grow fiercer. This little teaser that we get sets up not only Oswald's ruthless rise, but also the intense power struggles that are about to boil over. Look out, Sophia, and look out the rest of the crime lords of Gotham. And the visuals and tones, that's starting to get even more grounded. If you didn't think it was more grounded than it was, we are getting even more grounded, and it looks perfect. This trailer also teases some key elements we expect to play out. First, Sophia Falcone's storyline appears to be building tension, hinting at a fierce rivalry between her and Oz. Her character, poised and calculated, is clearly not one to be underestimated. Meanwhile, the trailer suggests that Oz's loyalty to his people will be tested in increasingly brutal ways. He's saying that he's got to take over Gotham, that they're going to reclaim Gotham for their own. But at the same time, you can see kind of some shady business happening and he doesn't know who he can trust anymore. So take him back, Gotham! One of the most compelling aspects of the trailer is how it positions Oz not just as a kingpin, but as someone on the edge of being outmatched. You can sense his internal struggle to maintain control, a tension that is likely to define his character arc as the series progresses. With Gotham as his battlefield, Oswald's ambition could either solidify his grip on the city or lead to his downfall. This trailer is showing us that this is not just some flashy comic book TV show, that this is a dark and gritty, realistic approach to Gotham, to this universe, and I am here for it. Got a promise to keep. It's about power, loyalty, and survival in a world where trust is a rarity and betrayal is always lurking around the corner. With the series set to delve deeper into the political intrigue of Gotham's crime families, we're in for a tense, high-stakes ride. If the trailer is any indication, the second half of The Penguin promises to deliver on its dark, complex storytelling while inching closer to Oz becoming Gotham's most notorious crime lord. And I am here for it. I thought that that's what this story was going to be about when we were first told it was coming. The Penguin series was going to be about Oz Cobbs, or as I thought at the time, Oswald Telepot's rise to power. But it's looking like that might be it might not be not quite sure where they're going with it we know though that oz Cobb is going to be positioned for something powerful and probably a bigger bad in the batman 2 more of a thorn in the side of batman than just as a little low level mobster that he was in in the batman it's going to be exciting to see how this thing evolves we're going to shift gears for a bit but first let's look over at this thing look at this pitch perfect penguin wardrobe getting a little danny devito in there a little comic book accuracy in there loving this attire loving this series but now we got to go over to victor victor looks like look of all the things oz and sophia are going through it's great but victor is a character that he we are witnessing this downfall of this innocent child we saw the downfall of innocent sophia and that was her origin story are we getting a longer more played out origin story for Victor, we know that Victor was an orphan. We know that his story, his entrance into our world was very similar to Jason Todd. And the whole time I'm watching it, I equated him to Jason Todd. He was the Penguin's Jason Todd. I still kind of maintain that sentiment, and that's where my head is still at. But so many people have brought it up, and I'm starting to think now, especially with this trailer, and we see where he's going. He's already killed one person at least that he could be turning into this universe's Victor Zaz. It might be a bit of a stretch, but also they have played around with names in this universe as is. We don't know who Julian Rush is. We know Edward Nashton. Things have changed around, of course. 
So could Victor be Victor Zaz? First, we gotta know who Victor Zaz is. So very quickly, Victor Zaz is one of Batman's most notorious and disturbing villains. In the comics, he's a sadistic serial killer who marks his body with a tally for every life he takes. Zaz is driven by a belief that life is meaningless and his killing spree is a twisted way of proving it. He's typically depicted as a gaunt, scarred figure whose psychotic nature makes him one of Gotham's most unpredictable criminals. Victor here, not quite that, but he does show some tendencies, some of the same tendencies that Victor Zaz has. But he's not a fully fleshed out Zaz yet. He exhibits the violent tendencies and loyalty to Oz Cobb, aligning with Zaz's background as a hired killer for Gotham's elite. However, the Penguin's Victor is more subdued, possibly holding back on Zaz's more chaotic murderous tendencies, at least for now, and this trailer is giving us that maybe in the last half of this, he will start to develop those tendencies and have them fully manifest and take form. There is room for the character to evolve into the fully deranged Zaz from the comics. The Penguin's version could allow a slow burn, allowing audiences to witness his descent into madness, marking kills on his skin as he becomes more unhinged and dangerous, especially as he continues working in Gotham's criminal underworld. This potential development could make him a much larger threat in future seasons, if we get any, or also the Batman 2. It really remains to be seen if that's where they're going to go with this. I, look, Victor Zaz is a great character, but I don't know if it's a character that you can piggyback an entire series of Batman movies on or have him as a main villain of Batman, but a lower level criminal antagonist in a show like The Penguin coming out of the show like a penguin and maybe just lurking the streets of Gotham in the Batman 2 and never really, we never really pay attention. Maybe Batman catches him early on, something like that. You could really see Victor Zaz playing out like that and having this character evolve into that, kind of giving us the bait and switch of Jason Todd. Actually, it's Victor Zaz could play out and could be a nice little twist to, to wrap up the series. If even he kind of starts to turn on Penguin and Penguin is like, you got to slow your roll, buddy. You're a little too demented for me now. This could be something that happens. Maybe, maybe not. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. Could Victor be a Victor Zaz? in this world, in the Reeves vs. Batman world. I'm still waiting for Matt Hatter to show up. I'm waiting for the drug dealing Matt Hatter to show Wait, drug dealing? There's a lot of drugs in this one. I don't think we're getting Matt Hatter in that iteration, but I would love to see Matt Hatter. I'd love to see Victor Zaz. But I, I still don't know if I'm, I'm totally convinced on this theory of Victor being Victor Zaz. But from this trailer that was just dropped yesterday, it looks like Victor is heading down a path that he cannot return from. And if that means marking his bodies, that means marking his bodies. I think Sophia might be out for blood on him, but also Penguin's mom is out there and it looks like she's not in a great place either. What kind of man can't take care of his own mother? And if Sophia finds out about her, all bets are off. Are you guys enjoying the Penguin? I certainly am. I like to talk about it on this channel all the time. Once again, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I really appreciate it. Give us a like and subscribe and may you be the master of your own universe.